From 2017 all the way to 2024, I'm going to be showing you my seven year gaming setup progression and how my setup has gotten to where it is today. Our story begins all the way back in December 25th, 2017. Now this is actually when I got my first gaming console, the Xbox One. As you can see, I was really excited to get this because I had been wanting this thing for a while. Now, I don't exactly have a picture or anything of this setup, but basically it was just me sitting on my bed looking at a TV. But for the next three years, this is how my gaming setup was going to be until 2020. A few days before my birthday in 2020, I ended up getting my first PC. This completely transformed my whole gaming experience because I had never actually played on a computer before. As you can see, it was a really basic setup. I had like an Amazon gaming desk and also an Amazon chair. I got this Logitech headset that I still wear today. And I also had the same PC from four years ago. I really need to upgrade that soon. But yeah, guys, this was just a super simple setup. It was a single monitor setup. The monitor that I'm using in my setup as my primary in this picture is actually the one I'm using as my second. Secondary now. I actually got a PC bundle too, so the mouse and keyboard actually came with the PC. But as you can see, I didn't even have a mouse pad, so all my stuff was just sitting on my plain desk. And I also had my PC like tilted horizontally, so I didn't even have room for my monitor. But yeah, this was like my first official gaming setup, and I'm not gonna lie, it was really cool. And this is how my setup stayed for like the next year until 2021. Now, this is a really bad picture, but as you can see, I'm starting to try to like up the look of the setup. I ended up putting these LED on the top of my ceiling. These things were actually super bad. They were like 20 bucks off Amazon and they ended up breaking after like the first month. But yeah, I tried to add a lot more lighting for this setup just to bring it all together. So I ended up adding like this disco light thing and it lit up the whole entire room. This thing was actually super annoying so I didn't end up using this for a while. I also ended up getting these two big studio lights. As you can see, I have one in the corner back there. And this is around when I started my YouTube journey so I started to get new equipment for YouTube. As you can see, I got my first microphone the blue yeti x microphone and then i have it on like a cheap 20 dollar boom arm right there and then as you can see i still have my xbox in my setup too it's right next to my pc and i also did finally get a mouse pad and a new keyboard and mouse but yeah at the time i thought this gaming setup was really cool and it actually got me into building gaming setups but later on this year in 2021 i finally decided to upgrade again at the beginning of the year on 2022 this is actually one of the biggest upgrades that i've made to my setup as you can see i went from a single monitor layout to a triple monitor monitor layout. I ended up getting my new primary monitor, the Scepter P30, and I also got like a cheap Asus monitor up on the top. This is when I started to take YouTube super seriously, so as you can see, I got my first webcam. It was an Olympus OMD3, I believe, and it was not the best webcam, but it really got me by. I also got a brand new boom arm for my microphone. This is the Blue Yeti Compass boom arm that I still use today, and I also got a pop filter for my Blue Yeti X microphone. But yeah, this is around when I started getting more into content creation, so as you can see, I I started to stream. This didn't really last for long because I found out that like streaming is not really for me. But as you could probably tell, I was really proud of this setup. Compared to how my Xbox setup was a couple years ago, this thing looked absolutely insane. The only complaint I had was my monitors were pushed up so far because of all the mounts, so I didn't really have much room on my desk. So this is why I ended up changing my setup again. Later on that year, I ended up changing my setup to just a dual monitor layout. I ended up selling the third monitor because I really just didn't find myself using it that much. This created a lot more space for my desk and I was able to like put a lot more stuff on there. As you can see, we got our ring light set up and we still have our webcam to the right. And as you can see, I tried to change like the whole aesthetic of the setup. I went for more of like a red theme. But yeah, I think this setup looks super cool and this would be my same layout for the next two years. Now this brings us to just a couple months ago in December of 2023. As you can see, my setup hasn't changed that much. I only added like some Christmas decorations. I hadn't been posting YouTube videos for a while, so I wasn't really concerned how my setup looked at all. But around this time, this is when I finally started getting back into YouTube. So as you can see, I started to make plans to upgrade it. We did a full Christmas revamp video where I put up a bunch of lights and other Christmas decorations around my setup. I was really proud of how this turned out, but it didn't really feel like a complete setup. I mean, the only thing I did was put up decorations and stuff, and I didn't really change anything in my setup. The only thing I really changed was my mic and my audio interface. I ended up finally getting my current mic, which is the Shure M7X, and I also got the Elgato Wave XL 
XLR. These would completely transform my audio quality of my videos, and this is probably one of the best upgrades that I've decided to do. But yeah, even though I added all these decorations and stuff, I wasn't really happy with how my setup looked. After all, I have had my gaming setup for about like six years now, and I just wasn't happy with how little progress I had made. So this led us to a couple weeks later when I completely transformed my whole gaming setup. This was by far the biggest transformation of my setup, and this took a long time to set up. As you can see, we got a brand new desk and shelf. I tried to go for a lot more space since all of my last setups were just really, really crammed and I didn't have any space at all. But yeah, with that said, that was just the main goal of this setup was to just like space everything out. And as you can see, I think I did a pretty good job of that. The setup took like a week to set up because I was just super busy, but I think it ended up looking super good. We ended up getting a new mouse pad, a new desk and a new shelf and a bunch of other like little decorations to go with it too. As you can see, the cable management isn't the best on the setup, but I'm not really too worried about it. But yeah, I was super proud of this layout and this is basically how my setup looks today. But moving on to just a couple of weeks ago is when we finally upgraded our setup to what it is today. This is my current gaming setup and I am super, super, super proud of this. As you can see, we ended up taking all the Christmas decorations off of the top shelf and putting like all of my tech boxes on there. I really like the way this looked and I think it brought the whole room together. We also ended up adding a lot more lights. I finally replaced the RGB strip on the top of my ceiling with a new Govi LED strip and I also added a new Ikea lamp that was only like $20 and I think this looks super good. And as you can see, we also changed the whole aesthetic of the setup to more of like this purple vibe thing. And this is finally when we got our new keyboard sent out to us, the Leo Bog Epo Maker K81 keyboard. I absolutely love this keyboard and I am still using it today. And honestly, I don't really see myself changing it anytime soon. At the back of the desk, you can also see that we finally got our MacBook. This is really useful for editing and everything that I need to do for YouTube. So this was probably one of the best investments I've made. But yeah, guys, that was the complete progression of my gaming setup. Compared to how it looked a couple years ago to how it looks now, I am super proud of how far this thing has come. And we're not going to stop upgrading it anytime soon. So make sure to stay tuned for any like future room transformation videos. But anyway, guys, let me know what setup was your favorite. I'm also going to have a link in description to my Discord so you can send all of your gaming setups in. If you want the chance to have your setup featured in one of my future videos, make sure to go in the description and join my Discord server. You can go ahead and send in a picture of your setup and I'll make sure to review it. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did enjoy today's video, make sure to like and subscribe. But I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.